All right, YouTube, we're in East Dayton. Uh, we're, we're on Harshman Street between East 3rd and 1st Street. This building, I don't know what it's called, it caught on fire about two or three weeks ago. As you can see, the it's damaged pretty badly. Uh, thankfully, there's enough daylight to do this video, but it's in complete disarray. And uh, the city's supposed to have a fund to tear down these abandoned buildings when once they get in this this bad a shape. But it's in you can see where it's just completely missing right here, and uh, it's in pretty bad shape. And uh, I don't know how much how many of the scrappers have been through. I did see a couple things that were scrapped here but here you could see the the back of the building here there's probably some aluminum siding that's worth so many oh uh, actually it looks like there have been people that have tried to scrap a couple pieces of stuff off here since the fire you could see the siding right here they've tried to scrap this aluminum siding you can see where somebody's tried to rip it down right here and uh as you go on, I'll check to see. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum, but I won't know it till I knock on it here. But yep, that's aluminum, and uh, they've tried to rip it down, but it's probably hard to rip down with all these nails. So you can see the scrappers and the other varmints have already been at this. Have already been at this property already here. This is all aluminum on this side. This is probably. There's probably a good 30 or 40 dollars in aluminum on the side of this right here. And uh, here is, I'm just gonna walk around, show more of this here. You could get a, another close up look at the, at the damage right here. You could see this is obviously the fire took place somewhere inside of here, obviously on this side, because this is the side that's the most charred and uh just gonna this ain't gonna be too long a one but but yeah i mean this is typical dayton ohio you know derelict buildings right here and here you could even see where the inside of it a little bit where we've even this is what the inside of it of the of the building looks like right here See it's charred and is in need of being torn out obviously, but of course as the city You know how the city of Dayton is they're not going to do their job on anything, but yeah Right through here You know the city doesn't want to do their job at tearing down any of these Buildings, but yeah, it's a good video right here showing the in side of it but yeah you could see there's clearly some scraps here where ever since the fire people have already tried to scrap it because this aluminum garage door is worth some cash right here there's definitely some cash to be had in this in this building right here and here you got some sheet metal right here that's uh been abandoned right here it's around eight o'clock so we're losing daylight but that's fine but we're getting a good video of this place as you can see it's a pretty good sized building all the way around as you can see the graffiti artist i don't know exactly how much of i don't even know if this building was even occupied before it caught on fire because it was in pretty bad shape here you can see this one garage right here this is just abandoned you know but the fire didn't affect this side of the business here but yeah this hasn't been used in I don't know how long now this one building that's attached to it this looked like this was stripped and scrapped by somebody at some point in in time you know over the time as you can see this drive that's going down here well it's been barricaded off because of people vandalizing it and scrapping and scrapping this place but as yes yeah, I'm gonna walk further through this video you'll see more of it is this factory right here whatever this was I'm not exactly 
sure what it was, but it's clearly something. But as we're going through this video, you can even see where the scrap is. People tried to scrap more stuff off here. Here's a little bit of a, and there's still more aluminum to be found on this on this property right here but yeah it's uh it's in disarray you could even see i don't know if this site still has a business occupied you could see the back of the business here but yeah even people even look like they try to pull up the gutters but here here's more scrap that people have tried to have tried to you know take but they got it nailed on there pretty good screwed on there pretty good here but here you could see you know more this building this is a pretty extensive complex right here so you know whatever this was used for it's been a good size uh, building whatever whatever this is right here and uh who knows what it was used for at some point there's been so many factories in this city that have been later you know abandoned and uh that have been later abandoned and uh it's just a complete derelict building like so many of the other buildings in the city but yeah i mean if somebody ever manages to get at this thing there's a lot of scrap metal to be had in this in this in this building as you can see we're going back out near where we started at here and uh i'm going to get the front side of this video then i'm going to probably get in this one in the next minute or two but it's definitely one of the better videos i've got in uh in quite some time and uh just going to show a little bit of the stuff that's around it here uh there's quite a bit of stuff around it here here you got this first street recycling down here this place is always you know bustling you know constantly all day long but, but of course as you can imagine in in a town like Dayton or really any place across the country a recycling place is going to be you know quite busy you know this is their entrance right here to adjourn the daytime this place is just absolutely hopping no matter what day of the week this place is comparable to business-wise what you would see McDonald's during rush hour, during breakfast, lunch, or dinner hour. No matter what day of the week, they're constantly gonna be on the. They're constantly gonna be on the. They're constantly gonna be on the run. Here's one side of the First Street recycling. Here's another side of it that's right down here, and uh, yeah, and uh, here's some of these outer edges of the of the building here and uh more signs of it heck you can even see where you got this aluminum can that somebody did recycle or or whatever it was but yeah even over here because of the nature of what this you know of the material the scrap that's around here there's even guard dogs which you can hear that are trained to clearly protect what is around around there here you can see the street of first street that's as daylight is fading away around around eight o'clock we're just gonna i'm just gonna get a final shot of the front side of this one building and then I know I said a couple times but we're gonna end this one shortly here but yeah there's you know tons of scrap to be found in this in this building right here uh, here you can see through the fence right here this is all aluminum where somebody scraps this thing they're gonna be having a lot of moolah all right that's it for this one YouTube bye